Here is another educational video from the Pepperidge Farm Owners Association of America. Protect Your Equity, Episode 9, Retrieving Data from pf-distributor.com. For past episodes, please visit our website at teampoaa.org. From there, you can also visit our Facebook page as well as our YouTube channel. Let's begin. First thing you're going to need to do is to log into the uh, pfdistributor.com and click on Route Management. Click on Reports, and the report that we want to run is called the Item Trend. Let me highlight that to make that one of my favorite reports. Going to click on that. If you're a multi distributor, choose the right route. If you are a single distributor, your number should automatically populate. But let's go down and choose our stores. So once we scroll down, we're going to highlight the Walmarts. And then we're going to load the report. Now, even though I highlighted five Walmarts, there's only three Walmarts serviced by this handheld. So what will happen is if there is no data for that Walmart, nothing will show. And this will take approximately uh, 15 seconds uh, to populate. Okay, once it populates, we uh, can just take a quick look. You can see here that it has every item that was delivered to this account on 12 month net units. Uh, the net unit change, but this is the one that we kind of want to focus on, the 13-week. And then month to date, and then the last two are stale numbers. There's a few ways that, that you could do this. One is you can just grab your handy-dandy calculator, add up the uh, five SKUs, come up with, with your number, and do this for each account. Uh, I am a big proponent of having paperwork, especially if you're going to end up in court. Uh, so, I want to download this to a spreadsheet. Once it's downloaded to a spreadsheet, I can go ahead and manipulate the uh, data and make it much more readable. Okay, so once this uh, finally gets ready to download, it should end up in your download folder under item trend. So press save. I always find that funny that I get a, uh, whoa, that download is dangerous. Uh, but we do want to accept it. All right. Because I'm using Google Chrome, the file is right there. Otherwise, just click on your file folder, go to your downloads, and there is the file. So we're just going to click on that. And let's take a quick look, and we will clean all this up. Okay. So what we want to do is enable editing. To make things a little bit easier, what I want to do is uh, get rid of all this data that I really don't care about. So while holding the left mouse, uh, left hand button, just going to scroll down. And once all that is highlighted, right click and delete. I'm also going to do the same thing for the other stores. Okay, once I have all three stores, I just want to clean this up a bit. So what we want to do is highlight these two rows, go over to Format, and we want to auto-fit the column width. So this makes it much more readable. Likewise, with your page layout, I recommend that you uh, go to Landscape. So here we have the uh, data. The easiest thing to do is uh, can either put a formula in or just go Okay, so we have that total and then we can do the same for So 
other stores. Perfect. So from here, what I recommend that you do is actually save this file. And just one important thing that I want to mention here, you uh, can see that it has as of 916. Uh, Pepperidge Farm, their weekly calendar uh, closes on a Sunday. So uh, it's usually populated by Monday. As you can see, I'm actually doing this on a Monday and it still has last week's data. Uh, the time frame that you're going to want to check to do this report uh, would be on October, the week of October 8th. Because one of the things that it is doing is grabbing the data for 13 weeks, which takes us back to the first week of July. Now, one of the issues is this is only going to give you an approximate amount because the program itself started on a Friday and it's ending, I believe, on a Tuesday. But this is going to give you a good indication on how much commission you lost. So just go ahead and save this. And then go ahead and print it out. Then what you're going to want to do is to go to our website if you haven't already and download the 30-ounce uh, spreadsheet that is available right at our message board. And what you can see is I already have a pail of payments for the three stores. But let's go ahead to the main page here. And we're just going to put in the appropriate store names. And then even though I have this set up for 13 weeks, uh, if you haven't been doing this and you just want a quick number, this is where you would input the data. Because we're using this as our total, we can see from the three Walmarts uh, that is currently being serviced, I lost $1,554 worth of delivery commission and then on top of that, $265 for a total of $1,800 or approximately $600 per store, I am funding this Walmart promotion. Again, the same thing happens on the bakery side when it comes to uh, Swirl Bread, Farmhouse, uh, and I believe there's one other line it as well. You would need to take a look at one of the other videos that we produced because bakery, it's a little bit different because with Walmart, it's on scan base and there's a different report uh, that has that. But again, check out our website. So that is going to conclude uh, this video. Hope to see you in New Jersey on October uh, 17th for our tri-state seminar. Uh, shortly after that, uh, we will be announcing um, our Las Vegas annual convention next April. Hope to see you there. Thank you.